Hey there, in this video, I'm going to be taking a quick look at how you can use high levels inbuilt engagement scoring system to better understand your contacts and leads. Engagement scoring or lead scoring, as it's more commonly known, is a systematic method used by businesses to evaluate and prioritize potential sales leads or prospects. It works by assigning a numerical value or score to each lead based on their specific actions, such as opening an email, downloading a free guide. Lead scoring helps sales and marketing teams focus their efforts on leads that are more likely to become customers. It can improve the efficiency of lead management and when used correctly, can ensure that sales teams concentrate on the most promising opportunities. Let's take a look. You can access the engagement score control by heading into settings and coming to manage scoring. You'll be presented with this page. When you first fire it up, there are a few examples in place just to give you a head start. For our demonstration here, let's say you're sending out an email blast to a thousand cold leads promoting a free download. It's an SEO checklist businesses can use to make sure that their website is doing best practices for SEO. Now, obviously, what we're actually looking to do is promote and sell our own SEO services. So it would be interesting to know which of your leads engaged with the email and to what extent. So in these existing examples, this one at the top here, it is simply states if an email is opened, add one point to the leads engagement score. Now, not everyone's going to open the email and those leads will have zero points. We're just assigning one point to anyone who at least opens that email. Now, inside our theoretical email, we have a link that drives people to a landing page where they can fill out the form to receive the SEO checklist. Not everyone who opens the email is going to click on the link, but for those who do, let's set a new rule here of email events and the event being clicked. And for this, we'll assign an additional five points. Just click save. So anyone who opens the email is going to get one point. Anyone who actually clicks on the link is going to get five points. And we've got uh, an additional step. What we can also do is as the leads, when they arrive on the landing page, they've got to fill out a form. We can add a new rule. And this time we can say if the action is form submitted and select the form to be a lead magnet, we can add 10 points to the engagement score. So from these three actions alone, we can see which of our 1000 leads engaged with that email. I mean, this is a pretty basic example, but there are several other options within the action here, such as purchase payments, survey completion, trigger links, clicks. There's quite a bit going on. By setting these up, we can get a good understanding of who is engaging with the business and who our sales team should consider a priority in order to call first. Once you've built your engagement system, make sure you come over to here and click publish to set it live. Now, if we head on over to the conversations tab, the lead score is visible so you can quickly see which leads are most engaged. And you can filter that list to give you a complete view of who needs contacting first. So we could set the range to be anyone with a score of five or more and apply that filter. Lead scoring is a super useful way of understanding lead engagement, so you can direct your marketing efforts of those most likely to buy. But it can also be used to highlight those with a low engagement score who will require further nurturing before the sales team reach out. Use lead scoring within your marketing and better understand your leads.